Welcome viewers to the SD online classes. This is physics class 10 chapter 4 magnetic effects of electric current from MBAC textbook. Page number in your textbook will be 97 the first lecture for your fourth chapter. Magnetic effects of current implies that once you generate electric current it has got some magnetic manifestation of its presence okay when electric current is flowing you will see some magnetic things happening around it so that is called magnetic effects of current roughly so in order to understand we will try to understand first what it is magnet itself and then we will try to understand from the electricity how the magnetic like effects are generating okay for that the first topic that will be covered is the magnet itself you have seen magnet when you were small a small piece of magnet while we were small is very common we have played with it and how it is attracting objects around it okay the small iron objects blades or maybe the a pin or anything so this is a common thing about magnet we all are familiar with it is a naturally occurring iron or which is Fe3O4 in its formula. It is black iron oxide. Okay, iron oxide is this iron Fe iron O is oxygen. It is also called iodostone magnetite or simply the natural magnet. It has the property of attracting. It can bring near other objects, iron pieces generally. It was found in Magnesia, the place near the city of this Magnesia. Uh, during the time of Greek, it is believed that they were the first one who discovered this means found out that there is something which is attracting things. So the, in that name, the Magnesia, now it is called the magnet. Okay, the, uh, the object itself is called magnet and we are familiar with what it is magnet now. Now the properties of magnet, what it is that the magnet poses, what is the uh, habits it has. So those are first one a magnet attracts small pieces of iron This is the most common thing about magnet even if you have not studied in school you can easily write what is the properties of magnet how it is magnet behaves is first thing itself is it attracts small pieces of iron right first property then the second property is poles of magnet magnet just like electric current plus minus you have poles not plus minus simply but poles it has north pole and south pole you can see that one end okay towards this one end here the magnet is very powerful here the magnet is very powerful okay end of magnets where its effect is maximum magnet as a whole can attract things but from here it will attract not as effectively as it attracts from here this part okay here it is very strong okay these two poles are called north pole and south pole okay this is the second property magnet attracts come back Second, it has two poles, north and south pole. One will attract, the other will not attract the same magnet. Okay, we will come to that next. Okay, the third property is directional property. When you suspend, suspend means when you hang something like this. Okay, this, can you see? I'm hanging a battery here. Suppose this is a magnet. Okay, this is not magnet. Okay, this is a battery. If I hang one battery uh, magnet like this, okay, you know already that it has north pole and south pole here. And it will always rest in a direction. It will stop. Even if you do like this, it will come and come back to rest in such a way, freely suspending, but you are not forcing to stand here. You are freely suspending it, but it will automatically align itself in the north-south direction of the earth. So that you will understand that this side is north, this side is south in the in your journey also. Earlier, it was used to make the magnets, that's where the compass so that they can find which direction they are going okay so this is very important property magnet has this property to align itself to the earth's north south direction so that that is uh, because the reason is the earth itself is a magnet and another magnet is behaving in a particular way okay that is the reason so this is directional property that means it shows a direction so it will attract iron objects uh, poles of it has north pole south pole third is the north pole and south pole align in a particular direction when the, it is made free to free of its choice where it wants to rest okay you see the battery will not rest like this it can rest this side also it can rest this side also like this okay but that will not happen in the case of magnet magnet will rest only in 
this particular direction which is north south for the magnet okay so this is the third property now now the fourth property is attraction and repulsion in a magnet this is very common thing magnetic poles if you have two magnets you can easily demonstrate this what happens in a in two magnets the like poles north and north will not be ready to come together okay they will not be ready to come together if they are north and north both okay suppose i'll explain you again with the help of a battery i do not have a magnet with me suppose this side is this side is north and north okay and this side is flat is south and south can i write it here yes this is suppose this is south this is south and this side it is north this side this side it is can you see the the upper portion this is north suppose there are two magnets like this with me what i want to tell here is that the north and north will not attract okay they will go away like this this is called repulsion if you bring them close they will they will repel each other right it will be difficult to touch them now on the other hand if you bring the north and south they will easily attract okay if you leave it they will be stick like this they will stick easily this is north south north it's north it's south will attract same thing it's north it's north and it's south will also attract and south south they will try to bounce back okay that is the uh, meaning of attraction repulsion in a magnet okay i i hope it is clear now the next property is now the fifth property is magnetic poles always exist in pairs that means pair means it should always have north and south together you cannot have a magnet with only north pole or you cannot have a magnet with only south pole okay poles cannot be separated if you cut them into two pieces they will again the new piece will behave as if it has its own north and south pole again okay let's try to understand how i will make a small demonstration suppose this is my magnet one magnet i have another magnet suppose one magnet itself can can under can be understood here suppose i want this north to be taken out i want only north side and i want only the south part separately what i'll do is i will take one something which can cut it okay if i cut it here what will happen let's see if i cut you can see the magnet into two pieces okay two pieces so what will happen again the new magnet earlier you remember the magnet was like this okay i cut it into two pieces it became like this but you cannot think that this will remain only and this will remain only here it will automatically become north south here this end will automatically become south this will be north this will be north this will be south okay even if i cut it again that will also behave as north and south here north and south here north and south like this so how many times irrespective of you cut it it will again behave like this having its new north and south pole okay poles cannot be separated that means north and south you cannot make different you cannot have like in electricity you remember only positive charge can be there only negative charge can be there but in the magnet you see you cannot have north and south separately if one is there the other will be there okay each will behave as a complete magnet once you cut each of them will behave as new magnet okay that is all about the properties here five properties where these are common properties you already know but for the sake of understanding so that you don't get confused while other things are discussed so this is all only a recap of the magnetic properties okay thanks a lot